Okay guys, so hi everyone. Today I have the Hitachi H45 MRI, the demolition hammer. So it's a really great powerful tool made for less long and heavy duty. It's have the anti-vibration system, so it's it's really really great for a hard work to do. Okay, as you can see from the all the housing, this one really was working in um, heavy duty. It's made in uh, 2070s, so I think it was working for a couple of years, of course, without a service. So, okay, it's it's really really nice tool. I really love the Hitachi Power Tools. They are great and uh, the always. Okay, so first sign, what I can see is uh, cable here is fixed, so definitely we need to replace it. So what can we do in uh, this way? I will cut it. Okay. I will just take the box. Okay. This is the deassemble video. So of course I will deassemble it. We will check the faults of it. Okay. I will try to remove the handle. It's a cab here missing. So we can get a new one or not. So it's not a big problem. But of course I will try to get a new one. Okay, just unscrewing the handle. We will take the handle because we want the tool to be smaller. Okay, fuck, cannot take it out. It's something made here by the customer. Okay, so basically we need a new bolt here in the handle. Okay, I will start for the carbon, br carbon brushes, they are here, it's a cover, the back cover, or bottom cover, it's a uh, two screws holding it, it's a PH two screws, so definitely we need to unscrew them. Okay, removing the cover, it's uh, just a cover, okay, here we have the carbon brush caps. So of course unscrewing them with a flat screwdriver. Taking out the carbon brush, I can feel that it's a little bit stuck when I'm taking it out. Now by the size it's good, so the carbon brush has no need to be replaced. Okay, sometimes the carbon brush carbon brushes is stuck because of dust, so you need to clean the tool. Okay, so yeah, now they are good. It's a good sign of course. Okay, so now we want to remove the handle because we need a we need a more space here. Okay, so I will unscrew the three screws. They are part of the seven screws holding the handle. Okay, it's uh, two screws here, front vibration system and two here. So as I am now with a PH2 bit, I will unscrew the screws here. Okay, and the screw here. Okay, so now I need to change the bit. No, it's a maybe the four millimeters. Forget the washer from here, they are like that with a cap, so it goes like this on the screw. So they are really important because in other way you can broke or lose the handle when you will be working with this tool. Okay. So it's a four screws that it holds for the anti-vibration system. Okay, now we can check how the, it looks. Removing the cover and opening the handle. We can see that uh, this is anti-vibration system. You can see how it moves when you are working. 
Okay, just remove the handle. So, the top is moving like this when you are working. Yeah, and it's really, really great. It's really simple, but it's a genius. Okay, and this one works almost in the same way. It's harder to move, but it's it's really works. It's a good thing. Okay, so if you are buying tool for yourself, honestly, I recommend to buy it with an anti-vibration system because it's really, really great for your health. It says health. Okay, I'm just ensuring that two screws here. They are long screws with a hex. So okay, removing the anti-vibration system, just lifting it out and taking the rubber out. So okay, I will take it like this to not lose it. Okay, you can see the four rubber pins. They are soft. Sometimes they are get damaged, so inspect them. Sometimes they are getting bigger because of the grease or the dirt. Okay, now they are good, so, okay, removing the cover here, and we can see the strange thing here, so it's part of the anti-vibration system, it moves like that, and um, the bait balance is moving, so it's, you do not feel it so much, okay, so it's a really simple but smart thing, okay, so, getting some parts out, Okay, what we need now, we need to unscrew these four screws to open the top cover. Then we will get to the grease and of course we will be able to separate the crank housing from the motor housing. Okay, so just opening it. Okay, first sign, what you can see. It's a grease here, so it's a good sign. Sometimes it's no grease, it's go out or something. Okay, you can smell it. it um, I don't know if you know the smell of the grease when it's worn out or not. So you can feel it. It's, I don't know, spicy a little bit. Okay, now this one is almost good. But of course, if you are disassembling the tool, changing the orange, something, just change, change the grease. It really not cost a lot, okay. The uh, Hitachi recommends to use the genuine grease, uh, but you can use the Makita grease, it's really, really fit good. Okay, so we have the second cover here in the screw here, so of course I'm screwing it. Okay, and it's time to separate the motor housing and the crank housing, crankshaft. Okay, so we have the four screws here. Of course, we need to unscrew them. Okay, where's the fuck my key? Okay, 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 okay. Don't have the key here. Fuck. Why? Okay. Just made it not an act. Okay, what can we see? The bad thing? It's uh, this screw is loose now. I don't know how about other rules. No, this one only. This one is loose. So that's a sign on a. Of a heavy duty, or um, can be the bad assembly, or it can be um, the bad use of the tool. If you are chiseling and breaking the concrete with your breaker, not only hitting it straight, uh, you can cause this problem. Okay, it's a really big problem when the two screws are getting out, uh, the housing here getting damaged, the dust going all everywhere, it's losing the power, the gears not working properly, so it's really a big problem. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe I need to do the video about proper use of the demolition hammer, because it's a really common problem. Okay, so I know that because I was working in a construction site, so it's uh, really... I, <laughs> I'm doing the same. As the, I don't know, more than 90 percentage of the customers, and I'm doing that wrong. Okay, so it's, uh, I don't know why we all are doing the same. Of course, don't forget the one thing about the, um, about the tools. If you want the tool last long, you must use it proper, you must uh, repair it proper, you must make maintenance, okay? 
the tool is like a car, you have the grease, you have the rings, you have the carbon brushes, okay? So if you are changing the oil for your car, just change the grease for the tool. Okay, so as you can see it separates really easily. Okay, now I need to take out the armature, so I will try to do that with a screwdriver. Normally it's getting out really, really easily. Okay, so now we can see a small problem here. It's a uh, armature was touching the field here, so we need to inspect the field very carefully. We need to check if it's not damaged. Okay, it looks not damaged. Of course, it can be because of the dust. So Checking the ball bearing, it uh, looks good. Checking the second ball bearing, just spinning it. Okay, it's no sound, this looks good. Okay, we can see that this armature was in life for a couple of years because of the commutator here. You can see the commutator is not a straight, it's you have a bump, it goes, it goes like that, so that's a sign that it was used. Because the new commutator is uh, totally flat. So from that you can see that the tool was working for, um, I don't know, really for two or more years. Of course, if it's a Chinese sheet tool, so it can work for a not long time. Okay, the second problem is here. The connection rod is all moving, the ball bearing inside is almost dead, so that's really not good. Okay, I will unscrew this anti-vibration system because now I don't need it. So okay, just getting it out and putting it in the box. So now is the time for all the hammer parts. Okay. What we need to do, we need to remove the cap, of course, because we need to get the screws out, they are here, beyond this cover. Okay. Okay, the cap is removed, the cover. You can see the grease with the div here, it's a normal for tool like this. Okay, now you can see the spring ring here, of course it's a loose now, so we need to replace it in the future. Okay, you can remove this ring with a special pliers, or of course you can use the screwdriver. Okay, what we have more here, one of the needles is out, so needle roller, sorry. Okay, about this part, these parts are almost always greasy if you are using the grease for the chisel and the grease for the chisel is really, really important because the grease is pushing out the dirt of your check or the tool holder, so it's really important in this way. Okay, so what we have next? We have the spring ring over there, so can remove it. Okay, we'll try to do that with special pliers. If not, I will do that in an old way with a screwdriver. Okay, I will take other pliers. Okay. Just lifting it with a screwdriver. I think it will be easier. Okay. Okay, fuck. Normally it's suppliers for the rings like this and uh, they are with a flat ends. Okay, I don't know why I don't have them. Okay, I think I need to get them. Okay, so. Now just lifting the ring here, taking it out, it's, of course it's all this, okay, taking the cover out, it's a four balls out there, 
so we need to get them out. Okay, it's so I think the easiest way to get them out is to use magnets, so... Okay, one let's fall out. Okay, so... The four balls here. Okay, the parts like this I am always trying to wrap into the paper to not lose them. Because I'm the assembly the tool, then taking it away to the box, the, calculating the repair price, calling to the customer, ordering the parts if I don't have them in a stock. So, <coughs> yeah, it needs some time. Okay, so is the second ring gear. Okay, so now we need to remove the plastic cover. Sometimes it's not getting easy because uh, it's a dust inside and it's really, really stuck. So we need to use the force of the hammer. So that, of course, is a part of the repairing part tools. <laughs> okay, if you want to repair the tool, you need to have a hammer. Okay, so we have the four screws here. And we need to open them to get the old, the hammering parts here, so, okay, I will try to unscrew it with my hand, but normally it's a, it's really hard for the Hitachi. Okay. Okay, fuck. Fuck, 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 how it's hard. Okay. Okay, this one not going. Okay, of course, if you don't have the vice, you can put it like this, and I think you can hit it with a hammer. But really, it's more safer to get it with a vice, so... Okay, I will put in the vice and unscrew the screws, because I don't want to... Okay, to spend a lot of time for unscrewing the screws in a video, so... It's not a video about unscrewing the screws. Okay, okay, and of course it's really easier to do that when the tool is in the vise, so. Okay, we almost have it, so what we need to do now, we will take the proper key here and it will be a lot easier for us to deassemble it. Okay, so you are going, 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 going. Okay, now I will try to screw it with a drill. I have the Hitachi adapter for the, for application like this. Okay. I really hate it because it's getting loose all the time. Okay, so the four screws are removed. They're going to the box for the tool. Okay, so now before opening down all the hammering casing here, all the parts, I will take some paper. Okay, and because that's dust is really really not good for these parts, okay. So, what can we see? We see the metal part here. Of course, if it's a metal part, we need to clean the grease and uh, check it for the cracks, for the scratches. Okay, so uh, no matter what metal part it is, but if it's scratched, cracked, or something, it's uh, dangerous for the older system. Okay, here we have the hammer inside, so we need to take it out. Of course, it's a metal part, so we're just cleaning it. 
Okay, if you can see the little bomb here, uh, that means uh, it's a sign of air, so it's better to change it because the tool is losing the, all the hammering power. So, okay, what can I see here? It's uh, here's the part, and the spring ring is holding it. So, normally, it's nothing bad in this part, but now I can see the crack here. You see the crack? So that's really really not good so okay it's a hole here so I will push the ring spring out of here and we will check this part okay so yeah it's a really really problem it's cracked it's, it's a crack will heal the, the o-ring is or cracked okay it's okay you can see how the o-ring looks Crack here, so we need a new o-ring, new this metal part. Okay, okay, okay. The tool holder itself looks good, so that's okay. Okay, so now we have the hammer here. So just hitting the housing. Okay, what can we see by hitting the housing? We can see the aluminum dust. So. Okay, they can fall out from here, or of course they, they was not in a tool. Okay, so it's a cylinder and a hammer. Okay, I will take these parts and take them out to get more space. Okay, so it's a hammer. We need to remove it, okay. Of course, cleaning it, inspecting from the scratches or something else. Okay, it's a sign of wear, so it's really not a big problem. So a bigger problem is a o-ring. Okay, we can see that the o-ring is getting flat, so that means it's gonna make the compression side, so it will not work properly. So definitely we need a new o-ring. Okay, it's a rubber here, so checking it from the cracks is good. Okay, the tool holder. Okay, 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 okay the cylinder okay yeah it's it's nice so wrapping this bars paper okay what we have inside here is a spring and then we have the connection rod with the piston so definitely we need to remove them Sometimes you can not remove them, but it's it's really will not change the o-ring if you will not remove it. So, and if you are changing the o-ring, so change both of them. It's the same o-ring here. So, okay. So yeah, it's getting flat too. So if we need a new o-ring here. Okay, I will wrap in the paper here and here. It's a small ring, okay, the parts need to be replaced. So, we are almost done with this tool. But what is the problem is... Okay, this one is moving and it's really, really not good. So, what we need to do, we need to take it out and check the ball bearing. Okay, of course, we, we need to replace that ball bearing. So. First thing, what we need to do is to check the screws here, maybe we can find the screws, if it's no screws here, that means we need to press it out. Okay, so pressing it out must be made on a hydraulic press, or I don't know, we can try to make it on a wise, maybe it will go out, okay, I was not, not made it. 
but we can try to do that. Okay, so I will adjust the camera to the device. Okay, just putting this one to the device and the housing. Okay, and we will check. Okay, I don't know if it's possible. Need a really, really a lot of power here, so okay. No, I think I will not not do that. Okay, I will press it in a little hydraulic press. Sorry, I cannot show it because the hydraulic press is side of the table. Okay, I will do that fast. I hope I will just adjust the press. So okay, 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 getting get to the press here. Okay, and fuck it broke this time so okay. That's a really really bad for me. In the okay and of course for the <laughs> for this tool owner okay we'll try to press it anyway out okay, it's going out So, yeah, it's going out as you can see. Okay, so what we need to do now, we can try to punch it. Okay, where I can put it to punch. Okay, we'll try to put it here. Okay, normally uh, you will be pressing this out all the way on the hydraulic press. Okay, it's not going so easily, so I need to press it out. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, sometimes it's happened. Okay, so I think I will not waste the uh, video time because I just need to press it out. It's a spring out there, ring spring. You need to remove it, and then the ball bearing will be taken out so of course the ball bearing um, will be moving here and all wobbling you can see all the all the tool <coughs> okay <coughs> so uh, that was the hitachi h45 mri the assemble with a small fail okay it's it's not a small fail it's about 70 euros worth housing okay but still, sometimes that happens. Okay, sometimes shit happens. So, for now, thank you for watching. I'm wrapping it. I can show you how the box is looking with it. Yep, and okay, for now, of course, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your comments and thumbs up. Okay, I hope you will repair all your power tools yourself. Of course, the power tool service uh, need money, need the customers. Okay, if everyone will repair the tools, so what I will do? Okay, maybe I will go for the long holidays. Okay, so really, thank you for watching. Of course, please subscribe if you are not subscribed, and always waiting for your comments. Bye.